guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am checking out the SD Edit Pour Vanishing Stick. And this is a little small generous sample I got with a purchase at Sephora. And my sample is four grams. The full size of this project is 6.8 grams. So it's a little bit larger than this, but same packaging, same sort of dealio. The outer part is apparently an oil absorbing formula, and then the inner is like a blurring formula, which is why it's got that pigment. Um, but basically this product claims to blur the look of pores, minimize shine and oil, which you can use alone as a primer or over makeup any time of day. I'm gonna use it as a primer here on just half of my face and I'm gonna compare it to the other side of my face which will just be bare with foundation. And we'll see if there's any difference, how it performs for oil and stuff. And yeah, I'm excited to see how it is going to perform. I really do like the um, stick packaging. You can apply just a nice amount of product you do definitely need to rub it in afterwards, which is why I probably wouldn't apply it over makeup. I just don't want it to be touching my face and disturbing stuff. So far, I don't think there's any difference compared to either side of my face, although they do feel different. Of course, the side with the poor vanishing stick does feel a little bit smoother. Now I'm gonna move on to foundation on each side of my face. And I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Foundation, which I know looks really good for long wearing and oil control on my skin. And again, here's a close-up after foundation. Can you see any difference in my pores? Probably needed to blend the foundation a little bit better there, but... Now I'm just going to go ahead and throw on the rest of my makeup really quickly here. I'm the type of girl that usually does wear a either skin perfector or a primer, even though I'm never really sure if it's making much of a difference. I do like the smoothness it uh, gives to your skin, and you know, my cheeks do have some pores on them, so I would like to feel like I can fill it in. My chin usually is a little bit dry and gross, so I do like having a little bit of smoothness on my chin as well. Here's the final look. Do you see a difference? If you do, it's just like the most minimal, minimal, minimal difference. But it does feel really nice, like I said, um, and I did enjoy applying it. It is a really, I don't wanna say fun product to use, but it's enjoyable to put on, I like that. So I'm gonna wear this throughout the rest of my day and tell you how it is at the end of the day. So let's start the day. And what a beautiful sunrise here in Alberta, Canada to start the day with, yeah. Plus all the snow melted, yeah. end of the night and honestly I don't think my skin really feels that different on either side. Now that it's fall I haven't had to blot as much. I'm definitely not as oily and I really don't feel like I need to blot right now. However, I'm gonna go ahead and blot and see if there was any oil control on the side of my face where I do have the product because honestly I feel like this side does feel a little bit heavier than this side so let's just quickly So in terms of oil control, uh, it's too close to call really. It's about the same. That being said, I did not feel greasy at all today. Normally, like on a greasy day, I would fill up a whole sheet very easily. My foundation today was the Revlon Color Stay. I know it wears very well on me. I know it lasts all day. And I know it's great for oil control and along with the changing of the seasons, oil is definitely under control. Now in terms of pore erasing properties, let's do a close up on each side of my face. This is the side without product. Take a look at my eyeliner. This is Ciate Fierce Flick that I did yesterday. With no eyeshadow, this performs terribly. I tested it just yesterday and my video was up and everything and I was like, oh, it's fine, I'm confident in it. 
but I was also putting on eyeshadow. I wore it once before and it slid all over like this before. And yeah, no eyeshadow, it's not gonna stay. Like, I don't know, it's weird. All right, let's take a look at the side that does have the pore eraser. It definitely does feel a tiny bit smoother, but honestly, I couldn't tell any difference between the sides of my face. My boyfriend couldn't tell the difference between the sides of my face, and um, it does feel nice, I will say. I do enjoy putting it on. I'm totally going to use this up. It's like a primer, basically, in my eyes. Um, it just makes your skin really nice and smooth, and like I said, I did feel like it kind of controlled my oil better, even though... I don't know if it actually did, and I'm not particularly greasy anyway. That being said, it is really nice and light. It's very comfortable. It does act like a nice smoothing primer, kind of a skin perfecter, even though there's no actual visual difference. I did enjoy it. I love the stick form for application more than the like putting on a tube and blending it in with your hands because you can be really precise with exactly where you put it and you just get the thinnest amount so you never use too much product so awesome packaging really like that thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you've had any experience with any of the estee either pore vanishing or primers let me know what your experience was like down below in the comment section Make sure you subscribe to see tomorrow's video and of course check out my 500 subscriber giveaway. The link will be up here. And yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.